Welcome to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. The podcast where we make five-minute decisions that can change your business, your relationships, and your life. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com, and freedomin5minutes.com, and we're here with another, yet another episode of the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Today's topic is this, how to increase your viewership by 20% or more this month. That and more coming up. <laughs> I wasn't sure how to even say that topic, but because it could be subscribers, it could be viewership, it could be whatever it is. But uh, anyway, we're going to talk about the secret to how this month I increased my viewership or my listenership to this podcast by 20% and how you can too. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about that. I've started several podcasts in the past. In fact, I've started several different things all at the same time when it came to business stuff in general. And it actually, uh, uh, it, it actually was a habit. It was something that I would do to feel... Like I was doing something. Does that make sense? To feel like I was doing something. So I had the restaurant business podcast. I had the So Totally Business Savvy podcast. The Online Empire Academy podcast. The Entrepreneur Idea Dads podcast. And some of those, and the Productive Catholic podcast, and some of those I had hundreds of episodes, over a hundred and something episodes for each of those. (sighs) Well, here's the thing when it comes to doing any type of personal branding or any type of podcast or blog or whatever it might be. <laughs> they suck. They do. They are there for the most part. You get these one hit wonder types where it seems like it's a one hit wonder, but you actually go and look and they've been podcasting or doing something for a long time. And you see these people who seemingly have this overnight success. And when you start a podcast, when you're in, say, the 40th episode, which this is going to be number 40, the 40th episode of a podcast, and you don't have many people listening to you, one of the worst things is looking at your stats and seeing that you don't have many people listening to you, the, it, it's a feeling of, why am I doing this, right? It's a feeling of, of should I be doing something else? Should I be doing sales? I, I, can, I could make cold calls and get more money in the short term than if I were to do this podcast for 10, 15 minutes. So as I was doing this particular podcast, as just like with every other podcast, as soon as it started, yeah, especially if you have something like Libsyn, which is what I use, liber- liber- Liberated Syndication, You look at the stats. You do an episode or you do two episodes and you look at the stats and you see one person downloaded and you know it was yourself or maybe it was your wife or maybe it was your mom or whomever it is. You're like, okay, that's not a real real download. I've already done one, two, three of these and no one's listening. No one is listening. (laughs) And you get sad and you start thinking, oh, why am I doing this? And then after... 40 episodes, you're like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that is that you have to have two things. You have to have obviously a reason why you're doing it. 
and you have to ship. So this month, this month, I had a, an increase in my listenership by about 20%. But that increase, that increase was only because I decided to keep shipping. It was only because I decided to keep shipping. It was not an algorithm change. It was not, it was not some crazy thing, some weird, just out of the blue thing. It was because I decided to keep shipping. So I got to episode, a couple episodes ago, and I was literally neck and neck with the amount of listeners this month as I was last month. And so I was like, okay, well, I guess, I guess I'm going to, I'm going to ship so I can, so I, so that I can see if I can at least beat this month. And it was pretty cool. Cause as soon as I did that, it was a boom, a huge spike in people who were listening. That is, that that's awesome in my book. And there's nothing that I did differently. I didn't go and necessarily market or I didn't go and cold call. I didn't do anything different in, in, in what I was doing, but I decided to ship. And I've noticed that my business, my specific business has done extremely well when I decided to ship, when I decided to focus on the one thing and just go with it. So like this podcast, (laughs) this podcast is even if I affect one person and it's a positive thing, that is the frame that I'm going at with this podcast. Is it going to help my business eventually? Yes. Is it going to help me financially, monetarily? Yes. Is it something that I expect to see a result in one, two, three years? Actually, I don't, I don't expect this to have amazing results for four to five years, right? And when I'm in the thousands of it. If it happens beforehand, great. That's awesome. If not, don't worry about it. I, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. And so the, the, the thing is with, even with my business, I would have all of these colleagues and friends. I had, the, I had friends when I first started my business that were like, yeah, yeah, let's do this. We're going to do it. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to do the, all these awesome stuff, blah, blah, blah. And, and about six months into it, I'd catch that same friend on Facebook playing Farmville or some kind of casino thing. I catch them I catch them doing something that that is totally unproductive. <laughs> it's totally a waste of time. And then I'd see, you know, a year after that or 2 years after that, I'd see that someone went and got a new job, which is not bad. That's great. That's awesome. Or they went and they're, they're playing some other game or they're doing some stupid hobby, some sports hobby that, that is really not getting them anywhere, but they're spending a ton of time on it. But the whole point is, the whole point is that what you, if, if some, if you expect to have a massive a massive change in your lifestyle, a massive change in your business, your family, or whatever it is, the biggest thing that you can do is to ship. Now, all those, all those podcasts that I did before, were those, were those totally useless? Were those totally useless? I actually still get people who listen to those old episodes of my podcasts and some people have, even even this year, have bought a product from me because of those podcasts. The there they were not done in vain. If if it were me, like now, looking back on it all, I wish I would have stuck with one one of them and just stuck with that one. But but. The fact of the matter is that even those podcasts were not a waste of time. They were not a waste of time. I shipped and I shipped and I shipped and I shipped and I shipped. And now, this podcast, I see that every time I ship, I'm blessing someone new. I'm blessing additional people. I'm helping 
more people every single time I ship. Those old podcasts, they, they were great because they taught me how I did not want to podcast. I didn't want to get into my studio. I have a beautiful, wonderful microphone with a mixer and all this other stuff. And it sounds great inside. It sounds radio quality. But I knew that if I were to do that, if I were to do that, it would be 30, 40, up to an hour and a half of doing those podcasts every time I wanted to do them. Every time. And so it was by learning, by seeing what it took to do those podcasts that when I started doing this particular podcast, and you can hear about how I do it in past episodes. I might even do a video tutorial on this come in 2019 because I'm going to be doing a lot more video. The way that I do my podcasts is on my iPhone. And once I stop, it does all of the audio processing automatically. And I literally, I just have to go to Libsyn and do the title and description. That's it. I don't have to do anything else. So I, I did earlier today. I did a, I did episode thirty nine. I did that. I can batch them up, batch them all up together if I wanted to. So I did episode uh, thirty nine while I was at the park. <laughs> that one was funny because it was all about being real and and, and my daughter at, during that day while I was recording goes and comes up to me and says, Daddy, I have to go to the bathroom. And I literally had to take her to the bathroom as I was doing the podcast because, no, I do not stop the podcast for things like that, especially on a pod- <laughs> podcast episode where the topic is about being as real as possible. <laughs> so, yeah, episode 39 if you want to check that out. <sighs> but the whole point is that by shipping, I got to see what the what it really truly entailed. So when I started this one, I have the ability, I have the system and the framework and the motivation to do thousands of episodes. So next year, I should have 300 plus episodes since one of my goals is to do as many as possible, closing the gate. But to ship... And to ship and to ship and every single time one of these episodes goes out, it also goes out onto my YouTube channel as well, as well as to Facebook and a couple of other places. So the, the, why is this, why am I even ranting about this? What's the, what's the most important takeaway from this? Well, the most important takeaway from this is that you can never go wrong when you keep on doing something and you're shipping and you're producing when you're producing, you're learning. You're, you're either failing or you're seeing success. And you're either, when you're failing, you learn from it and grow. When you are successful, you leverage it. As Garrett J. White would say, you leverage that success. And, and it, the more that you ship, the more that you're going to be able to grow whatever it is that you want to grow. All right? you're able to grow whatever it is that you want to grow. That's how I grew my sales. How did I grow my sales? How, how is it that when I have 10 people who are in my pipeline, generally I can close about 50% of them around there. And that depends on if they're qualified. So if they're totally qualified, I could probably do more, but generally if there's 10 people that I have a meeting with, I can close about 50% of them. Some of them being qualified, some of them not right? And it's because I had sold and sold and sold and sold. So there are things that you have gotten good at, but if you were to continue to just do it and to, even through the pain, even through the hurt, even through the learning process, if you were to continue to keep doing it, you would see exponential gains over, you, you'd actually end up becoming a master. You'd have an X factor in that specific thing, right? You have an X factor in that specific thing. And so what I want you to do 
is just take notice. You know, you're going to notice that a lot of these action items that I do at the end of these podcasts are just about noticing things. The more we, a lot of the times we live in our head and the more that you live in your head, the more that you're not noticing things about you, about your significant other, about your family, about your doggy over there. Hey, doggy. Luna, come on, baby. The, the less that you notice, the more that you're going to miss opportunities, the more that you're going to miss huge opportunities, potential huge opportunities, because those potential huge opportunities come as a small little whisper. They come as a small, still whisper. They pack a huge punch, but if you were not able to listen to them, if you were not able to notice them, then you miss out on all that power. Just because, just because something's quiet doesn't mean it's powerful, not powerful. So what's the one thing right now? What's that one thing Just notice one thing that you're good at, that you enjoy doing, that you've been doing for a while, and often you stop doing it, and you go, and you stop and go, stop and go, and just notice, is that something that that I, if I were to just focus fully on that one thing, could I potentially become world-class at that one thing? Could I become world-class at that one thing? And what would that take? How long would it take? And would it be, would it be worth it? Because I know that this podcast is going to be around for a while. And to me, it's worth it. It's already, helped, it's already actually already helped a couple of people, which is, which is all, always amazing. I love that. All right, so this is Dean Soto, founder of prosulum.com. If you want a systems and documentation virtual assistant, Someone who literally can duplicate everything that you're doing right now. Premium virtual assistant, go to prosulum.com, P R O S U L U M.com. Also, go to freedominfiveminutes.com. And you'll get seven hidden secret episodes there that are found nowhere else. And I'll be doing daily emails eventually, as soon as I get uh, the rest of my targets done for 2019. Mm, it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. So, and if you haven't left a review, I know I should, there only, I should only have one call to action in these things. <laughs> but if you haven't left a review of this podcast, please do. Please do. It'll help me. It'll help other people as well to be blessed and benefit from this podcast. All right. I'm going to go check out what the kiddos are doing inside, and I'll see you in the next Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast.